going on crypto crew this is sean coming back at you another cryptocurrency video we're getting straight into it taking a look at crypto yoda he's giving you some predictions and what's to come what he expects the top to be and if you see here this looks like this could be a big inverse head and shoulders pattern from the double top from 2021 down to the bottom we've showed you this in previous videos but this is just reconfirming the bitcoin bro stance this could be that third shoulder right here. And then going into the end of the year in 2025 and into the presidential election, we'll talk about all of that before this video is out. But he's seen it go up to 100,000 and potentially higher 120 to the 170 range. British HODL is commenting on Trump's past Bitcoin conference speech. A message to get one Bitcoin was important last year and it just become 10 times more important after Trump's speech. And what's he talking about? He's talking about Trump's speech of the Bitcoin reserve for the United States it leaves the industry waiting for more details. President Trump is talking about this in the latest and greatest Bitcoin conference in Nashville this past weekend. He said the United States is going to utilize and potentially keep contributing to its Bitcoin reserves. What does this mean? We haven't got all the details, but definitely bullishness. James Lavish comes out today saying, Good morning. There are approximately 900 trillion of investment assets in the world, and it's 67,000 roughly give or take bitcoin's a little bit below 67 but bitcoin is just 0.15 percent of that at one percent bitcoin would be 428,000. so put this in perspective this is one percent what about two percent five percent ten percent you get the picture marty bent weighing in america is time to get weird what does this statement mean election year we've already seen chump's assassination attempt Joe Biden drops out the race, and what is going to happen next? There's a lot of uncertainty and doubt in the political space, but also in the financial space. Could there be a bigger event that causes markets to nuke or pump pre-election, after the election? There's a lot going on. Pay attention and just keep stacking. Right here from Elja Boom, Bitcoin Golden Cross is approaching. The last time this happened, Bitcoin pumped 174% in four months. And that's way back here in October, November of last year. So 174% from where we are right now, around 66.3 at the current time it's recording. If Bitcoin did something similar around the current price action, what would we see? 174% would take Bitcoin up to a target of roughly, let's get this exact, 174, $183,000 Bitcoin. So if history repeats, then definitely some bullishness is going to be coming. Cynthia Loomis is weighing in and says the Bitcoin strategic reserve that Trump was talking about could help pay down the nation's $35 trillion debt. If you do the math on this, this is crazy. If the United States continues to print money, which will cause inflation, but then put that money behind the dollar or in the U.S. reserve over time with a Bitcoin stash, over time, that money will amass to over $35 trillion. And this is something that's done on a monthly basis. Now, will this happen? Time will tell. The next administration, you know, it'll be either be a make or break for Bitcoin, potentially. Not saying Bitcoin's going away, but, you know, if it goes one way versus the other, it could kick this can down the road. It's inevitable that this is going to happen, but the bigger question is when. But look here. Russia has just passed a bill legalizing Bitcoin mining and crypto payments. So are we seeing game theory in effect here? Does Putin see what's happening? Does he understand the scarcity? All major nations, nation states, countries across the globe will be doing this. It's like El Salvador. El Salvador has been buying one Bitcoin per day. Is game theory underway? We'll get that take from Max Kaiser before this video is out, so make sure you watch this to the end. Before that, altcoins. You got to talk about altcoins. Looking at 2015 and 2017, we're seeing this rounding bottom and then this wedge pattern that we come back and retest this moving average before blasting up and we see a hidden bullish divergence. All of this is mirroring what we are doing right now. 
So if we come up the same level, we see five, six, seven trillion dollars in the overall alt market. This could pump your Bitcoin bag, so we hope you are prepared. And to double back on this, Bitcoin dominance is in this rising wedge pattern. If we fall through, we could see this fall down to about 49%. That'll look like flipping resistance here to support. And then we'll come back, get rejected, and fall down for an even bigger alt season. So as Bitcoin dominance falls, that's when the alts rise. Time is running out. How much longer will we see Bitcoin below 100,000? Have you started to pack your bags? Are you prepared? Back to the game theory conversation. Let's hear from Max Kaiser and what he's talking about is occurring right now in the crypto space. Let's hear from Max. The analogy that I like is Bitcoin as gunpowder. So um, the one country adopts gunpowder, then you really have to adopt gunpowder as well to get into this uh, paradigm of uh, mutual assured destruction or survival. And now we're entering into the global hash war or the global Bitcoin war, which I wrote about five years ago, when everyone was saying that, oh, all these countries are going to ban Bitcoin. I said, no, in fact, it's the opposite. They're all going to embrace Bitcoin. They're going to competitively mine Bitcoin and hoard Bitcoin uh, because it becomes a new uh, back global Bitcoin standard. And we'll see every fiat money go to its long-term value of zero. Uh, it's demonetizing gold. You see that in the ETF market. People are dumping gold ETFs and buying Bitcoin ETFs. It's demonetizing the stock market. It's demonetizing the bond market. It's demonetizing the property market. It's demonetizing the fine art market. Everything goes to zero against Bitcoin. And anything you hold as an asset, it's the purchasing power relative Bitcoin is going to go down. So this is the realization that's creeping into the minds of folks who have been observing Bitcoin for a while. The political class is really interesting to see so many politicians up here talking about Bitcoin. They have the talking points and they sound good. Uh, I don't think they've given it a deep thought yet because it disintermediates politicians. Because not only will the central banks be disintermediated by Bitcoin, but so will the nation state as we know it. So the nation state will dissolve as well as the central bank. And there you have it from Max. Basically, he's talking about the game theory that we just talked about. All these nations are going to be racing towards the Bitcoin race, sort of like the gold rush, sort of like the space race, sort of like any other race where nations are competing on getting there first. Who's going to be that first major nation? We see El Salvador being the micro nation, but who's going to be the first major nation to do a Bitcoin standard. Before you leave, don't forget to check out the Bitcoin Bros at Bitcoin Bros 101. We have learning for you. We have eBooks, crash courses, and a Bitcoin Bros cheat sheet you don't want to miss. And also check out our premium Patreon pass if you want to become part of the Bitcoin Bros community. Don't forget to smash that like button and we'll see you in the next one.